So how did the idea for Suki's Strange Garden of Woodland Creatures come about? Well, I can't remember exactly how it happened. But um, I started writing a daily bulletin on Facebook to, I always wake up with stuff going on in my head and I thought I would, it would sort of get it out so I could get all this nonsense. I would put it on Facebook until, um, so that I could get on and do my work, my sensible stuff later. So it ended up with these silly stories and they all started with the same line and they all ended with the same line and they were pretty, ridiculous and it went on for about three years and somebody said it should be published um, but I I thought it didn't work with our illustrations and then some people tried to actually illustrate the book and it, it never happened you know people had trouble drawing rabbits that knit you know I, I don't see the problem if I could paint I'd know what to I know what to draw, but I'm not an artist. And then, and then I found Roy um, in the garden under a big leaf. Doing what? I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> I don't know what you were doing under the leaf. <laughs> but I distinctly remember going into the garden and lifting a big leaf and finding you underneath. Oh, how nice. <laughs> with, a li with a little pen. With a little pen and, and was, saying, I'm ready! <laughs> you're like waiting. It's almost like you're waiting there. So how did the collaboration work? Because it, uh, the, the pieces you did on Facebook were really just very small oh, yeah, they things. Were. And now it had to take... Th there was a framework there, so there were a lot of the the characters mm -hmm. that had appeared in, in the daily, uh, daily Facebook postings, but now you had to turn them into stories. So... Right, I, I never actually read them. That was the strange thing about it. I, I would type them in the morning, but I never actually read any. They were great. Did you Just read them? Flights of fantasy of, 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 you know, what, animals you're going to meet, what they're going to be doing, what you would be doing, and just what, what you know, like, crazy things would be going on. Did or, you actually read them? I, well, I, no. I didn't read them until, like, a year after you had, no, about the same time you moved here. Oh, okay. Because that's when I discovered you and you were writing all these things every morning and they would pop up on my on my feed and it's like oh look at this and i'm reading it it's like oh my god this is fun oh yeah it did start in chicago yeah it did so yeah there's a right. pic there's a picture of me sitting a photograph of me sitting by a route 66 sign somewhere in california and <laughs> where i'm waiting for the woodland creatures to arrive because they came in like a circus. They came by road. I flew here with Ian and the dogs, but they came on the road like this train of circus vehicles. And there's a picture of me waiting for them by this sign. So now I don't know people I start I was writing them, but people were reacting very positively and I thought they were insane. I thought what's wrong with these people? You know, but when when I went back to them, some of them were only three lines. I mean, I had to turn, there, there were skeletons of yeah. stories there. And like, you could see the plot. <clears throat> but I actually had to rewrite all of them. And then there's a lot of new ones. And some of them are so rewritten, they might as well be new. You know, because it changed everything about it. Well, Roy, so, you know, Suki approached you to do this and then he, you were tasked did with... Did you give me like five of them to start? Yeah, I might have said to you, I'll, I'll give you... That sounds like something I'd do. I would... I probably wrote five of them. Yeah. And gave them to you to make sure... See, see what you could do with this. Um, right. Yeah. Because I didn't think... Well, I didn't think... I, I didn't think you couldn't do it. It's just I've had a load of people that couldn't do it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> there, were, there were some... I mean, I, part of my like dilemma and, and a lot of them were they had so many things going on and 
I, I just were, was totally overwhelmed with what was going on. Right. And how do you illustrate that? How did, you know, when I thought that uh, person's mind that was reading it would be the best thing to illustrate it, you know, up, up, up and up in your head. Um, and the ones that I could illustrate, um, they, they were they, they were just a moment in time in that story that I thought was funny. So you got the stories, and you had the challenge to figure out how to yeah. illustrate. I mean, that. there were a couple that I thought were great ideas. You know, that I started doing the illustration to. I even have a final. And then setting down to actually uh, ink them in, I, I, it was just, I, how do you do that? I, I just, it was easier doing it as a pencil drawing than as a, a, a pen and ink drawing. Um, so some of them just were, you know, it's not working. And so I went on to another story instead. Well, which, so about, so there are about, I think, over 25, 26 illustrations yeah. in the book. Which... Full page. Full page there's illustrations. There's 120. Yeah, there's 120, but full page illustrations are about 26. Was there one that you found particularly challenging? They were all challenging. Yeah. Really challenging. Just... You know, doing research and on particular animals and what they look like and what their habits were and, you know, just how their paws went just so I could get it right so I wouldn't be like, okay, they're all ambidextrous and they really aren't and actually some of them only have three and some only have four and da da da. But you know, the challenge was doing the research and you know, getting uh, animal that is working well with Suki or doing uh, something that's happening within the story. I remember you said you were in the middle of illustrating one and you had expressed a challenge showing a giraffe trying on <laughs> high heel <laughs> shoes. Yes. Yeah, sitting down to, to put the shoes on. It's like, okay, um, how would the, you have to figure out how the legs would be going considering, you know, this is shorter, this is longer, this is way long, and then it's, it's a whole different setup than people are. And it, I, I, once I got that down, that's where I came up with the last drawing for the back, for the back cover where I actually found this great picture of a model sitting down in a, in a director's chair, and it was just perfect, and all I had to do is figure out the legs again. <laughs> but yeah, it, it was great fun once I, I figured it all out. Which is your favorite illustration? My favorite is a panda. No, actually there's two. One's a Suki holding a panda where they're getting ready to jump. And I believe a uh, 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 parachute down. I think that's flying like animal kites. Like, no. no. Oh, okay. No, the other, one, the, the other one is flying like animal kites where there's an elephant, a squirrel, and there's another animal that I illustrated within it. Oh no, that brings me to a third one that I really, really like too. But yeah, where there's a squirrel that looks terrified that, that's flying up in the air. When I originally drew it, I drew it and I turned it upside down and it looked better upside down. <laughs> and that's the, way it, that's the way it is. That's, I mean, from, from now on it's supposed to be that way, not this way. Um, the, other, the other one was the uh, water sprouts. What? How oh that? yeah, that's right. They, it, they go to the. I think it's on the Sea of Heartbreak, and <clears throat> there's water spouts, and all the woodland creatures are going out, and then they get shot. Yeah, they up, get shot up by a water spout, up. and there's a, a, there's an otter, there's a cheetah, and another animal. 
and I did just the expressions on their faces, having so much fun on these water spouts. And it's like, okay. And if it was really, really a water spout, those animals would not survive. <laughs> <laughs> well, a, a lot of but, a, a lot, lot of odd things. I mean, a lot of odd things happen in the garden. In the real world, badgers do not run bakeries. <laughs> No. And bake donuts. No. no. Yes. No. That reminds me of that video too. Uh. <laughs> so there's, there's a, oh yeah, there was the one of the badgers with the donuts that taste like folk singers. Yeah. I could see them ripping up, you know, it was dough like, and <clears throat> just being creative that way. It was actually hard to, what surprised me is it's the hardest thing I've ever edited. I thought it was going to be easy. And, and I've written history books and serious articles and for academic journals and that, but it was definitely the hardest thing to edit because even though it's bizarre and all over the place and there's no logic involved in it, it still has to work as a story. It still has to be sad or happy or funny or profound. My favorite ones are the ones where you, you think there's something profound is being said, but you can't actually <laughs> work out what it is. I mean, that, that, was, that was a fun challenge. To make something look like it was really wise and important, but actually makes no sense whatsoever. That was quite challenging. And there's still 80, 84 of them. So. And it, it took quite a long time for the, like, how long would it take you, Roy, to produce each drawing? Well, granted, I have a, you know, a regular other job besides illustrating, and that was, I would work my regular job, come home, work two to three hours on the drawings every night. On my days off, it would be, I'd go to the gym, then come back home spend some time on the drawings, you know, um, just be social with my husband. Yeah. <laughs> and then go go back at it and start drawing some more. You know, I, I, what was the, from when you started, how long did it take to produce the final Listen, book? You're about a year. So, so that book, uh, Suki Strange Garden of Woodland Creatures, took about a year yeah, to it produce. Was, yeah, it was about a year. Because it, between the writing and the illustrating... Well, I didn't... I, I was writing them as we went along, and Roy was illustrating them as he went along. It's not like I gave him a final manuscript. No, it was every, yeah. every week it I was would be getting, when I had something. getting a bunch. I, I gave it to him. But I also... I didn't... I don't think I suggested anything for the artwork because I wanted to see what Roy was going to, you know, to have completely have complete control over every, everything that he drew. I had, didn't have any suggestions about what to draw at all. I didn't want to be involved in it. Would you say it was a successful collaboration? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was very, um, <clears throat> it was very professional. And did you... Did you I laugh? still had a lot of fun doing it. Yeah, I was going to say, did yeah. you laugh when you were doing it? Because I was, I certainly laughed when I was writing it. I was surprised what came out of my head. I mean, donuts that taste like folk singer. Oh no! It, it, later on, when I said, "Oh, I'll illustrate each each animal and what what they're singing for the dawn chorus," and it's like, "Oh my God, I have to illustrate uh, a fuzzy ball." <laughs> singing, <laughs> singing such and such, and it's like, uh, okay, we'll try this. Yeah, just, just to repeat, there are about 26, 28 full-page illustrations, but every single story has a little illustration, yeah. because every story starts with an animal every, singing every the story dog. Starts, yes. Every story starts with the same line. line. I stepped out to the patio, and something or other was singing the dog chorus, and every story ends with the same line. I think the most unusual one, I'm thinking about, you know, the book layout and going through every illustration was where there's an envelope singing 
The Dawn Chorus. <laughs> yes. Um, Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the, the envelope singing Led Zeppelin Stairway to Heaven I found amusing. It took me a little while, but I mean, you know, I put it aside, start illustrating some of the other ones. I come to it again. Did anything pop into my head? Nope. I'll go to it and do a couple more. And eventually it's like, well, why don't I do this? And yeah, yeah. <laughs> Finally. So um, there's the book launch that's coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. So, you know, we're now in July of uh, 2019. At the end of the month, we have the book launch that's going to be going on. Um, are we, what, what's next up? Are the two of you going to be working together mm -hmm. again? Is it going to be more garden stories? Or what, what do you think is on the horizon? Well, we do have an idea. We are going to be working on something else together. It's secret. It's not garden stories. <clears throat> we come up with another idea and we're gonna be working on that. A little bit slower this time. I'm gonna be writing the, the stories and giving them to Roy when, when it's done because I'm working on a lot of other things. And it's also more with the illustrations being uh, immersed with the topography of the of the story itself yeah, you want too. To, yeah, you wanted to do some. So it would be differently. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. So where the the whole thing looks a little bit more organic and you know between the illustration and what the story is. Well, this was this was a first foray. Yeah. Into you know writing and illustrating. I mean, not, you know, but to putting them together. Well, I I thought I'd never find anybody that understood those. Stories and also, I'm surprised by how popular they are. I mean, they really are unusual. <laughs> They're fun stories. They really are. What What surprised you, Suki? What surprised you the most about Roy? Um, that he could actually interpret my thoughts. He actually it's a challenge in itself. <clears throat> no, he actually thought that the stories were funny and the stories were interesting. He got He got it really. And I think that's a pretty rare thing. Oh. I, mean, I felt completely safe. No, I, I did feel I had to say, well, why don't we do, you know, three tequila bunnies there? I did, I did feel I had to say anything. I just enjoyed handing the stories over and letting him go crazy with the Stories in it. Roy, what surprised you the most about working with Suki and about this? It was really easy to do. I mean, I thought I would be intimidated, but I wasn't. He's, the, the, Suki's really easy to get along with. I, I, I really enjoy the company. I mean, we hang out every once in a while, which is fun. I mean, thrift stores. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, but the, you could, I, I got more into his mind hanging out, out with him that way and just how his, his mind would work just hanging with him and just how the stories go too. Um, that, I mean, the stories are meant not to be serious. I mean, it, in some cases they are serious, in some cases they aren't, but it's, it's more or less have fun with life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's about discovery. Yeah. yeah. Um, Take a challenge. It is. It's, 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 it's about... Everybody needs to have, like, carve out their own secret world. And it's somewhere to go in your mind. Other people do it in different ways. Too. But I've got a secret world, and it was, it's out in the garden with all these... These people, these, these woodland creatures, they're quite... In a way, I think they're more human than I am. I mean, they have trouble, they have problems. I'm the janitor of lunacy. And the janitor of lunacy comes from a song by Nico. And um, <clears throat> I, I wanted to use it when I first heard the song back in the 70s, but it took obviously decades before I could do that. And I, yeah, my job is to go out there and sort out all these problems and some of them are very, very strange. My favorite 
I think my fav one of my favorite stories is um, the, <laughs> I remember you, you commented, I don't know if you did it, you, I don't think you drew it actually, is um, uh, the day that we all hang out our floppy citizens. Yeah. Wake up in the morning, I go into the garden and the, and the woodland creatures say, well, you know what day it is? And I say, yes, it's my favorite day in the social calendar of St. Suki's Strange Garden of Woodland Creatures. Today, we hang out our floppy Susans. And the woodland creature says to me, do you have a floppy Susan? I think, of course I've got a floppy Susan. And there's all these anim animals and <laughs> creatures walking past with their floppy Susans. And I get my floppy Susan, I throw it over my shoulder, and off we go, because it's hanging out your floppy Susan day. What is a floppy Susan? And that's why I didn't, that's why I didn't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> because it would be more in someone's, someone's mind. You know, how can you take that <coughs> away from a reader? I, I didn't want to impose right. what my thought of that was. Just like the, the other one that yeah, you said moment. that you loved was the share, the, the share, what is it, the toenails? Painted with Bob Maggie. Oh, right. 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 Because <laughs> it's like <laughs> I go, I go, I forget who it is. is. Is it the Zen hens or something? There's some, there's some creature on the beach, and it's where and they do all the beautification of the animals. <clears throat> and that's where I go and get my nails. I think I have. Isn't it one of them like uh, a Viking funeral or something painted on the nails? And I know it's share. You can get share painted on the nails. Bob Mackie. Yeah, in a Bob Mackie gown. Mm. And you even said which particular Bob Mackie gown it was. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so I'm going to ask each of you, you know, the same question. So I'll start with you, Roy. What do you, what do you think the Woodland Animals would like to tell people watching this video interview? To have fun with life. Don't be so serious with yourself and everyone else. You know, enjoy friends, enjoy um, just the company of others or just the company of yourself and your own skin. And Suki, I'll ask you, what do you think the woodland creatures would want to tell people watching this? I think, well, last time I saw the woodland creatures was this morning when I went out. And I don't, the wooden daffodils, all around the pool, for some reason, throwing these tea bags. Because they wanted to, they got some project going, they want to make the biggest cup of tea in the world. So I go out, because there's tea bags all over the pool. And is it Earl Grey? It's Earl Grey. And I asked them, I asked them what they were doing, and that's when they said they want, they're making the biggest cup. So, I didn't want any more information. Sometimes in the, in the garden, it's just better not to know. It's like there's a story in the book about <clears throat> um, throwing vacuum cleaners into the bottom of pit uh, for repair. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes, I think what they would say is, you don't always need logic. Sometimes you can just throw it away. You can have a private world where all the cares of the world, all the politics and all the logic and all that, you have to make sense and you know, you have to dress this way or that way. That doesn't work in your private world. You know, I go into the gardens and it's complete chaos. I never ever know whether there's going to be a a, a chocolate sprinkle rainstorm, you know, pouring down on my head. Well, that would be great. Put your umbrella upside down. That's right. Jump in your pool. Jump and, in your pool. And you end end up somewhere in the garden. Yeah, yeah. Because once you in die, another pool, right? <laughs> if there's a door, open it. If there's a door upside down. Stand on your head and open it. Well, I want to thank you both. Uh, and just so that everyone, to remind everyone, we've been discussing 
discussing Saint Suki's strange garden of woodland creatures with Saint Suki Delacroix, who wrote the stories, and Roy Alton Wald, who illustrated them. And the book is available from your local bookseller. If, if it's not there on the shelf, they can order it for you. Or you can also get it on Amazon.com. Thanks, guys.